Hey guys, so I wanted to film a really um, sort of interesting video for you guys. I just filmed a BH Cosmetics haul, so I will post that somewhere in this video, but I will also post it down below for you guys. But anyways, um, I wanted to show you guys some makeup brushes that I bought from the art store. And I wanted to make this video because I don't think a lot of people know that you can definitely buy makeup brushes at the art store. I know I definitely didn't know until like a few weeks ago I watched the Beauty Vault XO here on YouTube and she like she's obsessive over brushes. She loves brushes. So um I watched her brush 101 video and she talked about how her favorite makeup brushes are simply ones you can just buy from the art store. So when she said that, I was like, I definitely have to make a trip to the art store. So when I did make a trip to the art store, there's so many brushes that you can honestly use and get for $3.99, $4.99, $2.99 even. And they're really the same. It's synthetic hairs, just like many other makeup brushes out there. And I just think that it's really great just to get some of them really cheap. And they work amazing. So I'm going to show you guys um, which I got. I got four. And I'm going to tell you guys how much they were, what brand they were, and um, all of that. So I got four brushes. So the first one that I'm going to go ahead and talk about is the one that I've just been obsessed with lately. And this is the, well, all of the brushes that I got were from the same brand. That wasn't on purpose. Um, there was plenty other amazing brands, but this was the cheapest with the cutest like design like some of them that's the thing with getting them with the art store um, some of them have kind of ugly designs like green handles and they're not cute but um there's a bunch of them that have plain sleek um, black or white handles like this one and so I love those companies because their brushes are really their bristles sorry are really soft but also their brushes have nice sleek designs so I tried to go for those there was one that was um, really good and they had like a really sleek black packaging but they were like I think a dollar more and pretty much the same thing so I just went with the um, Simply Simmons brand and this is the quarter inch angle shader brush I'll just show you guys and this is the basically the brush that I use for my eyebrows so it's really flat and the bristles are so soft and they're just it's honestly amazing for my eyebrows I love using this my eyebrows come out so defined now if you can see how they look today I don't think my eyebrows have ever looked so defined before um it really I don't know like it just works amazing it's not it's it's dense like it's not like empty like the brush is nice and full but it's also very thin and it has like a perfect line and it's just oh I love this brush I'm obsessed with this brush um this one was all of my brushes were $4.99 yeah so all of them were $4.99 so the next brush that I went ahead and got is another Simply Simmons um it's called the sword the sword brush and it's a quarter inch brush now this one it looks like this now I thought this would be really great um, for V's. So you know when you do a smoked out eye and you just grab this and you make a nice perfect V. It fits perfectly in your crease because it's angled. So it's really good for detailed smoky eyes. Um, yeah, so I just really wanted to pick this one up. This is also $4.99. And the next one that I picked up is the number 10 Filbert brush. And it just looks like this. And this is just a flat packer brush this reminded me a lot of my urban decay brush that that comes in the naked 2 palette and um that flat side it's just a little bit longer and i use this brush to get this look on my eyes today and it works amazing um what i like about this brush is that it doesn't hold the product much like my urban decay naked 2 uh, brush it it holds the product enough to put it on your eyes But you can go ahead and use the same brush with a different color and that old color won't transfer on Because the bristles it doesn't hold the color into it It like it doesn't soak the color and it sort of stays on top puts it on your eyes done So I can even run it across my hand See there's nothing on it and I did not even clean it and I used it about two hours ago so it doesn't hold the color in and I love that because you can just keep reusing the brush for the same eye look and it's super easy. Now the next brush that I got, um, that was also $4.99 by the way. The next brush that I got is a fan blender brush number 4. Now it's just like this. This is a fan brush. Now I really need a fan brush and want one. So I got this one. I actually really wanted one that was bigger, like more wide and taller. 
but I this was all I could find at the art store and this was the biggest that they had which was sort of weird to me so I'm going to kind of go to um an art store outside of my city and see if there's sort of more selection because I'm pretty sure I've seen bigger fan brushes at other art stores um but yeah this was all they had so I like this will do for now and this was also $4.99 it works really well though I so I just use this to highlight I just drag it down my t-zone and it fits perfectly on your cheekbones so I really love this brush and it really works for highlighting my total came up to $22.55 I'll just show you guys right there $22.55 now I think that's honestly amazing because my Sigma brush for one foundation brush came up to 28 I think 28 yeah 28 and I got one foundation brush now don't get me wrong I love my Sigma brushes and I love my all my other brushes my Mac all of that but I mean you really can't go wrong especially when it comes to getting um like eye brushes from the mate from the art store because I mean come on you can't go wrong it's just an eye brush when it comes to foundation brushes I can kind of understand maybe wanting to spend a little bit more money but when it comes to um, getting eyeshadow brushes like short packer brushes like this or an eyebrow brush I think it's super amazing to just go to your local art store and get them pretty cheap so I really just wanted to share this idea sort of and I guess mini art store makeup brush haul with you guys because I want to give you guys an idea of how you can get cheap alternative makeup brushes I just really hope you guys enjoyed this video like this video if you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys soon bye